Will those country roads take you home to the place where you once belonged? Catch inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're enjoying the channel and this series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and check out the website revelatoralpha.com. Uh, so, this video is dedicated to the best country roads to ride on a motorcycle. Uh, which are the best? Where can you find them? And what kind of things uh, should you be looking out for? Personally, I love riding on country roads, on back roads, especially some twisties, uh, through the trees. Absolutely love it. But really, when you get out onto country roads, you're really looking more than a riding experience. It's more of an environmental experience as well. It's kind of getting yourself immersed in nature. So there's lots of other facets to country rides rather than just riding the motorcycle. You know, the, the tarmac beneath your wheels, uh, the rumble of the engine, the technical aspects of controlling the bike in those turns or on the straights or in the undulations. It's a lot more involved than just riding on the city streets, uh, in my opinion. There's a lot more factors involved. But really finding the best one is actually a very subjective thing because there isn't really a best one. Every country road, every type of road has its has its pluses and minuses, its own attributes, whether you're gonna like them or not. Now for some people, uh, they'll like the wide open country roads, uh, maybe some straights, maybe some sweeping bends. Uh, that's more of their thing. For others, like me, really like the twisties uh, beneath a canopy of trees. Uh, that's probably my favorite, or certainly riding through tree-lined roads. Uh, again, for others, uh, they like the really narrow country lanes where you're never quite sure whether you're going to find something coming in the opposite direction. Those country lanes were really high hedges, they obscure everything. The one thing to remember about any country road is, uh, dare I say it, you are in the countryside. So yes, uh, there's going to be lots of debris on the roads, possibly lots of mud. Uh, there might be slow moving traffic, there might be farm vehicles, tractors, coming out of fields, uh, just presenting themselves before you. So you've got to be able to react to that. You've also got to be able to not only ride the road or ride the motorcycle, but pay particular attention to the condition of that surface as well which is ever-changing, uh, which can be treacherous at times, which also can uh, lend itself to some harder aggressive riding as well. So it really depends on the time of year where you are. If you're riding on narrow country lanes, especially with high hedges or with any kind of uh, higher vegetation uh, surrounding it, then generally you're gonna be dealing with more damp roads than with wide open roads that will uh, dry out a lot quicker. Anything that casts a shadow is going to remain damp or frozen for a lot longer uh, than any open road. So you've got to ride the country roads a lot more conservatively in many ways, so certainly with that presence of mind that anything can change at any time. And really what we're talking about is your grip, you know, what the traction of your tires. Are you gonna be able to navigate around a bend? Are you gonna be able to keep the bike upright? Sometimes you just have to abandon the traditional advanced riding techniques in favor of uh, road position or body position or motorcycle position uh, that is just gonna keep you upright and safe. Sometimes you just really have to slow down and crawl along and other times you can twist it on to your heart's content. But essentially the narrower the road and with more debris or more moisture on the road, that's when you really have to be aware and obviously any road that holds a lot of moisture and uh, has a sharp bends or hidden bends or hidden entrances to properties or fields that's where you have to be uh, really aware of but getting out onto those country roads is an ever-changing riding experience and that's why i love it so much it's not about speed it's about uh, control it's about awareness but it's also about that immersive experience within the environment that you're in the closer you get to the surrounding countryside, to within the trees of vegetation, let's say, the more immersed experience that you're gonna have. And that's why I love it so much. 
on my videos you'll often hear me talking about getting onto the back roads those roads less traveled uh, where there's less uh, traffic sometimes but also some of the things that you'll see on the back roads that you wouldn't normally see you can end up in places that you never thought was there uh, dead ends you have to turn back around buildings that you never thought were there or structures that have long since been forgotten there are lots of things to see some great experiences to be had on the country uh, roads on the back roads and certainly i would favor those over any long straight highway or motorway but hey that's just me which is the best country road? Well, I think actually anything that gets you as close to the environment, close to the nature as possible, uh, is going to be my favourite. Something that's got some great views, great vistas, something that you can just easily plod along at 20 or 30 miles an hour and just have a great experience, relaxing time, or other roads where you can just wind it on a little bit but still have that immersive feel something where you can just pull over to the side of the road and you can hear the birds sing you know grab a sandwich have a picnic by the side of the road then off you go again it's one of those classic sunday afternoon rides uh, which you're just going to love and uh, hopefully you'll love them as much as i do anyway there's a couple more videos coming at the end of this one but don't forget to subscribe like and share check out the website revelatorhouse.com and catch you again on another video coming very very soon Ta -da.